Here we are in the fifth level of the untold adventure, which is starting to get told now. So this is prison escape. It's not prison break because you don't have to break out. You can just press the button. Dock. But if you do just walk out, then the alarms will sound and all sorts of stuff will happen. What you want to do is go up here. This door opens as well with that little button. Run and jump out here, get some flares. Mm -hmm. There's a giant fan over there, which will kill you if you go in it, as it would do in real life. Go up this ventilation type nonsense. So up here, you can actually jump what, from the one little spot to the next to the next and so on, but it's very tedious. And because of the angled ceiling, it's very easy to fall off, which I have done a lot. I think this could potentially set off the alarm because I'm, you know, I'm technically on that lower platform where Lara's shadow is. But let's just see. Trust might seem boring shimmying across like this, but trying to jump across is uh, bad. So there's a lot of silence happening right now. They will, the alarm will trigger, and then a little bit later. Because the thing is, you know, look, actually what I did now when I pressed the button, I said uh, dock, I think. And that's because when I first played Tomb Raider, I had an external CD-ROM drive, which was a 4x speed or whatever, which hopefully you don't even know about. And I also had no sound. So I would have to make the noises. Like this. Mm -hmm. Plink. I think back then I, I said something else, but whatever, I had to entertain myself. Played my own music, made my own weird noises. Any case, so there's the stone dragon. Let's just fall into here. And even now with this Tierra Lee, I can't sort out the, the music because I'm an idiot. Mm -hmm. Grab all the stuff. This should set the alarm off for some reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't touch the guns. Mm -hmm. So that little button opens this room's little door over here. These do something else. Schwing. That's the upper level cells. Schwing, that's the lower level cells. Now let's open this door and anticipate a whole bunch of guys getting in. Oh wow, that was immediate. That was immediate. Here's the giant red key card. That didn't go too badly. Small med pack. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, 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 no. Still missed me. Shoot him a couple of extra time. Zzz. He drops nothing. Okay, people leave harpoons where they drink coffee and play cards. In both cases. Some automatic ammo. Gonna save quick. So this leads to the lower cells. <clears throat> that I opened um, with those levers where I said swing. There's nobody down here. And there's not much in these cells. Except for this. Small med pack. They're very realistic cells. They all look exactly the same. And you don't need to go to more than one of them. So let's go up to the top. Yeah, also you see the microphone feedback that's happening. I'll have to sort that out but not right now. Okay, this is, there's my cell where I started. That first one on the left. We wanna go in here. 
grab a lot of harpoons. Then we want to go to this next one on the right. Got some automatic uh, mm -hmm. ammo. Also fix the um, from my other videos. Ow. You know, all the, the the textures were just glitching through everything. The doors and the items were glitching through everything, so I fixed that. So that's not a mess anymore. Here's a dog, and there's a guy somewhere. Left-handed, left-handed. He drops some Uzi clips. Doesn't have an Uzi, so I don't know why he's carrying that crap. Okay, just go along here. There's some horribly, horribly horizontal, <laughs> horizontal rolling barrels. All left-handed. He drops the shotgun. Mm -hmm. He had a spare shotgun because there's still one lying there. Let's use that thing. We should have four shots. Two Batmen come out. That's the end of the mm -hmm. shotgun shells. She drew those auto mm -hmm. automatically because I ran out of ammo. Okay. So here we want to go. There's the two different sides. There's a pretty clear pickup of um, harpoons here. Grab those. Mm -hmm. I think the harpoon gun is on this bed. Very, very high level bunk beds mm -hmm. that's what we need so you can see we're starting to get quite a lot of harpoons which is nice I'll try and make the best use of those here on the right I think um, up this side I think there's pickups on on every yeah, we got these. Mm -hmm. That's the automatics. One of the hardest jumps I've ever done ever in Tomb Raider, trying to go from one bed to the other. Okay, that worked out. We want to press this plink. Then it's. Can we get two in a row? I really doubt it. Okay, I made that look a lot easier than it is. Go across here and get some bombs. Mm. Let's try and do a ceiling jump. Yeah, perfect. So that happened and opened that. Quick save. Very slow compared to 2 meter 4, but it's still quickish. Should recognize this little area. Shoot that out. Shoot that guy. Shoot that Malaka. We'll be back for their ammo in a minute. And we'll want to head this way. Also very recognizable and nostalgic. So this is where we woke up in Tomb Raider 2. Can't break that. Can't break that. Can break that. We want to push this. Pick up these. Pull this. Also for a covered up pickup, 
Mm -hmm. If you remember from Tomb Raider 2, this box was just like this. But inside here was a hidden lever. Ow. But now we've got the gold dragon. So I said this is gold mm -hmm. and I've messed up the whole jump. Wow. Okay, a guy comes in here. Just wait for him. I actually want to do something. No. Is he on top of the box? Yeah. Push the box with the guy on top of it. It just happened that, like, that's the first time I'd done that. The guy's dead on a movable box. Probably not that amazing, but I thought it was a cool first, you know. <clears throat> Save. So let's go in the water. Got two giant fans that actually accomplish nothing, which is cool. Um, this lever is for that door. This fan doesn't suck you in. And judging by its rotational speed, it probably wouldn't. Go through this door, get stuck on there every single time. Okay, this I think was meant to be a troll med pack, and you're just sort of supposed to be killed. You're supposed to go where I'm looking now. Come on. Oh, I need to breathe pretty badly. I'll make it, but there's a harpoon guy. Try and not get hit too much. Getting hit. Why did she shoot once and then reload? Anyway. So I didn't keep an eye on my breath meter. Okay, let's start using these things. Don't need to shoot anyone right now. There's a lever. Swing. That opens the bottom of the plane. As a lever on the wall would be expected to do. Here's a troll shotgun guy. Oh, he did a good job there, I must say. Mm -hmm. That's... okay. Let's make use of all these harpoons that I've got. Where did he go? Don't often shoot scuba diving idiots with a shotgun. Oh wow, that is... That's why no one does that. That's why no one shoots scuba diving idiots with a shotgun. This is a long way back. So just just skip ahead. Just skip forward about 90 seconds now. So what I'll actually do see, see told you get stuck there every time. 
is I'll assume that is supposed to be a troll med pack. Go underneath. Try and do this without. Okay, well that that was better in that way, and I'm not going to draw my weapons now. Actually, I'll take the shotgun out so you can't see the harpoon gun. It's an eyesore. Swing. Okay, let's do this. Okay, yeah, I still have zero shotgun ammo. That went better. I was stupid because I haven't pressed the button yet. That went moderately well. <laughs> okay, so we, we shut off this engine. So in good two meter two style, we can just jump straight through the engine. Let's go pick up these items. Some shotgun shells mm -hmm. from this douche. Some Uzi mm -hmm. clips from this guy with not a Uzi. Just blind fire at a, at somebody. Mm -hmm. Just assume it's not a young child. It's just shoot what you can't see. So this average sized ladder was the um, a little secret in Tomb Raider 2. Mm. Mm. I don't even want to say the name since I called the Jade Dragon Gold mm. after seeing it, but I think it was the Gold Dragon that was up here. Mm -hmm. Just nearly walk into the mm -hmm. hole like that. Whole bunch of things. Mm -hmm. So there's no secret. But that wouldn't be very secretive. It was just a copy of the original secret. Just fall in here, but this can be pretty tedious. This fan is pushing away, and the best thing to do is to turn in, go a little bit past, turn in, and stay low. Didn't work. Stay low. I need to go a little bit more past, like this, and then back. Then it pop through like that. Definitely go right here because there's another fan behind me. have to fight the current and go here this is terrible this is like the diving area room get out it destroyed Get the giant yellow key. <laughs> oh, let's just slow this down a little bit, shall I? So that didn't go too badly because if you come out the water there and this guy's hammering you from up here and the shotgun guy gets into his little automatic shotgun stance it's not going to end well
put the giant yellow security pass thingy in here. Just walk out here. There's um nothing much going on in this little tank. So just go across. There's some harpoon pickups over here. Mm -hmm. Where I just fell into is where one wants to go. <clears throat> That's a wall. Okay, so you can jump across from here and you can jump into this little hole from here, but it is not necessary. Just go over meow and swing that. Fall 400 feet into the water. Hook a left. There's nothing here, but just go left anyway. Did I say left? A oh, right. Over here by this little thing, you can go in. And boom, that is a gold dragon. Mm -hmm. With that, you get the Uzis and Uzi clips and more harpoons. So this area is just as big as the 2 meter 2, maybe a little bit. No, it's the same size. Let's just use all those harpoons. No. No. Okay, this is where we want to be. All secrets done. <clears throat> Save. Not load, please. So this is a little timed run. Jump up there, roll a little bit. Do that. Do that. You've got quite a lot of time, but side side jumping is quite ideal. That's why we save, right? Let's try that again. That's short as well, isn't it? No. Okay. So there are some dudes, but let's not panic about that. Let's YOLO the shit out of that. That's why we don't YOLO. That's why you keep YOLOing to the, a minimum. Just ignore all of that. No, I have to YOLO this now. <laughs> okay. You would expect a shotgun guy to be here. Yes. Oh, did I just jump? No. I, didn't. I thought I really screwed up just now. Just jump through this little gap here. Uh, right. Yeah, you can jump over this. Wow, he started shooting straight away, didn't he? Yeah, you like that? Some solid platforming going on here. Grab this. Okay, mm -hmm. there's the goal. I nearly pointed at the screen, which is pretty idiotic. This is a pretty nice jump. Feels like the maximum distance jump, but not quite. This is, I feel like an idiot not saving for this. Okay, it's not that bad. 
Let's head on over this way. We're nearly there. I'm gonna YOLO the shit out of this though. Oh wow. It's so That's putting the guns away and back and away and away and back. Okay, so do that. Go around this pipe and up here. What this does is switch the water around in those tanks. Okay. I find this is the best way to get over these pipes. Oh wait, yeah. There, step forward once and dive <laughs> if you really want to. Okay. So an exit way open over here that you just jump straight into this door wasn't open until uh until pressing uh the lever which swapped the water around i just yeah i did swap it around okay just leave this area come in here we've got access to this now that was the opening i i mentioned that you could jump into um, but it's pointless. Not so much happening over here. There is a pickup which I didn't land on. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that other lever opened the door down this passage. So let's smash this passage up. Ow. Get the giant green key card over there. Turn it in the hole for some reason and then you can leave. There we go, all the secrets used half of the health pack. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. And the next level is the last level, or the last level. But we'll get that in the next video. The last of the part one, I imagine, of the Untold Adventure. Okay, bye.